Oh, hello everyone. I8-0386-SX. And this past Saturday, I'm going to talk about a, a sale that I went to. Uh, the Bit History uh, Surplus Sale in Larson, Wisconsin. That's, i say, about 10 minutes west of the Appleton Fox Cities area. A uh, friend of mine holds... He goes all over the countryside collecting vintage hardware and hunting it down. He's trying to build a museum. And uh, when he gets duplicates or things that he doesn't need or want, that's where the surplus sale comes into play. Warehouses full of that stuff. But, anywho, I went on Saturday afternoon, and I didn't get quite the haul that I got last time, but I did pick up four things. One of them, if you follow me real closely, you have already seen. You know what? Let's just get this out of the way. This is the freebie. This is just going to be a YouTube experiment that uh, I'm going to do when I feel like it. Very old, as you can tell. We picked up the uh, three computers total. I have the Compaq LTE 5300. Uh, albeit, uh, it does have a crack here. I did pay this. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. That's charging. Um, anywho. So I did pay this uh, full price on this one just because it did look like it was in nice shape. And the charging light ultimately did go off as soon as I tapped it, so go figure. I wanted to pick these up, not so much for myself, but uh, to uh, turn around and sell them at cost to anybody that's looking for an LTE 5000. Now, fortunately, I pulled this battery out and right off the bat, it is a lithium, so it's probably grenaded inside and probably not a candidate for rebuild but uh well that's uh not gonna be my issue uh, it does have a hard drive in caddy which uh, by itself is worth a few bucks to somebody oh, what is going on okay here we go we're good so that was good news it does have the cover which this uh latch which often has issues is an okay shape now, one thing that uh, the floppy drive did not take discs at the time. I didn't know that till I got home, but it now does take discs. Uh, it would get stuck eh, it'd get maybe this far and then, you know, maybe, if, maybe if I apply enough force, I can push it in, but it wasn't going anywhere. It just had a, a, a floppy protector inside it. But now it does eject and insert. Okay, so that's computer number one. Let's see if it works. I know the answers to this already. And like I said, I'm a little bit disappointed at how this turned out, but that's the risk you take with 30 year old hardware. And uh, the, the gentleman that does run it did apologize. Like, you know what, we'll, we'll work something out next time. We, there was He had no way to test these, so. It does happen so oh it turns on okay we might be canceling a funeral here ah uh, here we go yep it, it's still acting funky yeah so before it wouldn't even turn on at all let's see if we can pull the lithium battery on there it, it is possible that uh, this unit is uh experiencing issues because of that i am not sure but uh let's just try it again it's not spinning up a hard drive or anything so this one definitely has some issues going on so that's the furthest i've ever got with this unfortunately and that's It is what it is, uh, but uh, maybe we can uh, have a fun troubleshooting exercise with this one and maybe get it back on its feet. Uh, it does not have the original eraser mouse. Uh, these are blue on the Compaq LTEs. Most of the Armadas, for that matter, I believe they are blue as well. Now, I don't want to get too far into a troubleshooting war with this, and uh, even after I turn it off, the thing is... Yeah. I have a feeling we have a bad DC board in this thing, but... That is very common. So, on to the next one. 
and uh, it's said uh, you will see these featured later on and uh, I should have went to his uh, pile of adapters and in the off chance that I found one that would work for it but uh, I did not uh, this one I did buy for sticker price as well and uh, Armada 7360 DMT comes with a CD-ROM I believe the battery does hold some charge. It is taped in there because, well, the plastics on these things are insanely brittle for the most part these days. So I don't know what they, what they made these plastics of, but it, it, it's not good. There is at least a hard drive caddy in this system, so we do have a nice uh, a plethora of Armada 7300 series parts if somebody would need it. That's uh, the unit that's a few... Uh, spaces down is not so lucky and you know say why are you setting stuff on, on there like that well that one's already basically toast it was hanging on to it as it was semi-functional but we have this one I did take the cover off that there was some troubleshooting spoiler alerts uh, you know how this one's likely going to go seeing that and uh, I will show you right now just to uh, minimize on the blabbing and get right to the points that is if i can find the power wire that goes to this one which i do own and unlike my lte 5000 ones uh this particular one did not disappear uh unlike the 2023 packers that is i want to talk about things that have disappeared this year that uh this is one of those with a keyboard it's supposed to rise up a little bit and it does have the original blue eraser mouse. Let's turn this thing on, like I promised. Ooh, that's different. Uh, it's almost different. Before those uh, lights would just stay on and wouldn't do anything. So I think we may have something to work with here. I don't know. Nothing on the screen, though. So, okay. Well, before it wasn't even... Uh, we wouldn't get even get a screen before. I don't think this one's anywhere near in the clear, but, you know, we'll see. Maybe I'll troubleshoot it and offline and see what we got going on. So, all right, we will... Uh, that's enough of that guy for now. And this is the one that functioned out of the box. I paid $50 for it as it was missing the hard drive cover and uh, with uh, uh, some consultations uh, or as I want to say after consulting with some LTE 5000 experts uh, that was uh, what we determined that the price was fair and uh, that's what we got so yeah this is a uh, I think my media is corrupt on this so that's why it's giving me that air but uh, or maybe it's got a bad memory module, I'm not sure, but but at least uh, this one is functional. The hard drive is good, the floppy is good, the battery looks like it could be a candidate for rebuild. This is a 5280 for the record, I don't know if I mentioned that, but we got one of the three to function right out of the box, and, and maybe, just maybe, some hope for that 5300, although I am not optimistic about that Armada, but that's what we got at Fit History, so... Uh, Thank you for playing, watching, and uh, we'll see other videos on this in the future, I'm sure. So again, thank you for watching. If any of these other sales do come up, I will do my best to advertise them on my community page. I know some people do pay attention to that, and they will make the road trip. Uh, we had some gentlemen, actually they had some gentlemen, I have no affiliation with it other than friends with one of the guys that... Uh, put on the sale and all the fun stuff uh actually had somebody drive i think from the wisconsin illinois state border maybe or maybe even chicago when they got a hotel just to go to this thing so that was cool retro hobbies real so again thank you for watching you'll see other videos on these have a good one